You spoke about forging a way ahead without a Section 30 <clears throat> order, if necessary, and that a referendum uh, would be lawful. On, on what basis uh, can you say that? I mean, what advice have you received to say um, about moving ahead without a Section 30 order? And can you detail perhaps what some of those <coughs> options and ways forward would be? I'm not going to do that today, Alan, and I'm not going to do that because the work is underway. You also know the constraints I'm under when it comes to talking about uh, legal advice in particular, and um, I'm sure you weren't inviting me to breach the ministerial code, but in case you were, I'm going to resist uh, resist that invitation. I, uh, and I'll say this uh, very, very clearly, I understand, I'm sure there will be questions as we go through this press conference about the process. Um, I understand how important those questions are, and I understand how important it is to answer those questions, but I also understand and take very seriously the responsibility to do that properly. Uh, the situation we're in right now is not one of my choosing. Um, I think it would be better for everybody on both sides of the independence debate to have a Scottish government and a UK government, as was the case in 2014, that respected the democratic process um, and recognised that we differ on the substance, but we have an obligation to enable the people to make the choice. That's not the position we are in. We, as I've said previously already this morning, we are dealing with a Prime Minister that doesn't respect democracy, the law, or any of the, the norms that underpin uh, democracies in, well, used to underpin democracies in the UK and, and still do in most uh, other countries. So I have to deal with that reality. Um, is that, uh, does that pose challenges? Does that, uh, and, and I've set those out, the ability of the Scottish Parliament to legislate uh, without a Section 30 order is contested. I believe we can navigate a path forward, but I'm going to do that responsibly and I'm going to do that properly and then I'm going to set that out to Parliament um, in the way uh, that people would expect me to.